Hey guys, welcome to another video for the POCO X2. Now, a couple of weeks back, Xiaomi released or POCO released an update for this particular device which comes with the March security patch. The number is 12.1.3, the version is Android 11, it comes with Android 10 gestures. Sounds like all the amazing things happening to this Snapdragon 700 series device, right? Well, it's exactly that is what has happened because the first 12.1.2 update was sort of buggy like really really buggy that you cannot use it as a daily but here's a quick review of what i've experienced in the last two weeks of using this update and you guys will be delighted to know what i have to say towards the end of this video but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community join us there and help us reach a thousand members because we are having a lot of fun and you can join us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, we will actually go to settings. So let's go to settings, let's go to about, and let's go to all specifications. Now this is a POCO X2 664 variant, 2.2 gigahertz, Android version is Android 11, of course. You do have the goodie there, or the Easter egg. Security patch is the 1st of March, the version is 12.1.3 stable, so that makes this update very, very sweet. Now that is everything about the info, but what about the change log? If you see what's new over here, updated Android security patch to March 2021, increased system stability is what they have to say. Now remember, this is a stable update as it says over here, but honestly, this is a beta stable. I did not get it as an OTA update. I've manually flashed it through Orange Fox. And if you want, I'll leave a link in the description. You can download it and flash it from the custom recovery. If you try to flash it on the lock bootloader, you might get an error that flashing to this version is not allowed this, that, because Xiaomi and Poco are known to restrict the beta stable updates to a limited number of users. Going forward, we do have a few changes over here. So one by one, let's go ahead and check them. First of all, let's go to the poco launcher and check the about info of poco launcher it says default launcher poco launcher about 2.20.1.17 app drawer you have all the options over here you have customized layout background system icon pack double tap to lock screen open search after opening app drawer you do have all the amazing features available over here and this time poco launcher is much much better to be honest because i have not yet experienced any lag or any stutter so kudos to poco team for finally waking up and doing something now please do something for the poco phone f1 as well that is the device that started it all you guys are riding on the wave of launching the POCO X3 Pro and whatnot, but don't forget the legend. We love the POCO F1, so please give this update to that device as well. It deserves and can run Android 11 better than the POCO X2. Now, moving on, if you actually go to settings over here, okay, once you go to settings, you have connection and sharing. You do have a few new options over here, Chromebook, Nearby Share and Android Auto. These are the three things that have been added. If you're connected to a Chromebook, it will display over here. You can share files to nearby devices and you can use Android Auto, dedicated menu for that. So really, really neat. Now, apart from this, if you swipe from the right or the left in the normal way, it will only give you the normal app drawer or the normal you know notification tiles but if you actually go to control center okay and you actually go ahead and enable it there you go new version so you swipe from the right you get your tiles swipe from the left you get the notifications so that has been fixed so again kudos to xiaomi or poco for doing that now moving on if we go to the sms app you do have free internet messaging now some would think that this is a new feature this is something amazing no this is something that was known as me message and this is like a simplified version of iMessage as you have it on these phone that is iphones so even if you don't have like 
a SMS plan, you are on the internet and the other person is also using a Xiaomi or a Poco device, you can send SMS to them for free through the internet. That is what this feature is all about. Now moving on for the next change, we again go to additional settings and we talk about full screen display. Now in full screen display, you have buttons which look like these and then you have full screen gestures. Okay, now you can hide the full screen indicator over here. Okay, and Android 10 gestures are working absolutely fine as you can see over here right they are working smooth as butter so that is neat poco launcher finally supports android 10 gestures now the next major change would be in the gallery now the gallery app itself has received quite a significant update in terms of performance in terms of smoothness not much in terms of new features but yes as you can see over here it's pretty pretty smooth pretty pretty slick you don't have a lot of uh, lag over here and there the animations are very very swift so i'm actually glad that they have actually done some hard work to make the android 11 update really really sorted and smooth now what happens next is when you actually open a photo and select edit this is where the magic happens you do have a lot of options when you talk about editing so the photo editor has been updated and it's been updated in a very very neat way even in the crop menu you have a ton of options you have a ton of additional features you do have the sky replacement feature which works like a charm you have stickers doodled so basically everything that was there earlier is already there but they have gone ahead and made it even better. Now, things don't stop here. If you actually go to a video, you have all these options for this particular screen recording. But if you go to a normal video, right? There you go. You have effects, trim, filters, audio, watermark, advanced. Now, as you can see, you do have a lot of editing options, trimming options and stuff like that. So even the video editor has been updated and the photo editor has been updated. The gallery as a whole has been updated, which makes this update even better. Now, moving on, let's talk about the camera. In the camera section, nothing major there, but the vlog mode has been updated with a lot of new I don't know story modes or transition animations or you know stuff like that you do have the drafts mode as well so if you're editing something or if you're shooting something like a short reel or something Instagram reels is the rage these days you can actually save it as a draft and you can use music from your camera itself all right now that was everything about the change log all the things that I observed that are new in this particular update but hey new features and all are fine does it actually work well, I'm here to tell you that and I must say that this update is overall much, much more fluid. All right, because if you go to settings, you go to display over here, something that looked like a gimmick till date actually now feels that it's working that way. Yes, we are talking about the 120 hertz refresh rate and across the UI, it doesn't really honestly feel like a 7, 700 or 730, 732G processor it works really really well now in yesterday's live stream although i was playing at smooth ultra but the consistency of 35 to 40 fps was pretty good it was playable it was much better than the previous beta stable update so the gameplay is much much better and as i said the 120 hertz experience is much more reliable now talking about the charging the fast charging works as expected with a 27 watt fast charger i did not expect or you know experience any heating or any such problems even if you go to battery and performance you do see that the battery life is pretty pretty solid we still have around 51 percent of battery even after rough testing and very very heavy usage right so the battery backup is decent everything is perfect there is only one bug that i still have in this update i think it's something to do with android 11 and miui when you are in pubg mobile even if you have wired earphones connected your teammates voice will come from the phone's speaker now that is a weird bug i don't know if it's got to do something with pubg or not but on android 11 custom roms i don't have issues so xiaomi and poco if you're listening that is something that you need to look at that is something that you need to fix but overall i give this update 9 out of 10 a big thumbs up very very good update it makes the phone much more usable makes the 120 hertz refresh rate much more usable and it's amazing let me know in the comment section if you installed this update or not and what are your thoughts what are the unique bugs that you have experienced so that we can make the community more aware and we can share the message with poco so that they can further improve 
For now, drop a comment, like this video and subscribe if you have not. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.